see my uh, recommendations are in the file. Oh, great. We've got a truck versus motorcycle coming in. It doesn't sound pretty. I'll take it. You need a hand? Yeah, I could use one. Order late. Yes, Order late. Gee, thanks. <laughs> I brought it up over an hour ago, so how long is it supposed to take? Well, I honestly, I really don't care how busy you are. Um, I'm not supposed to be here, but... What Dr. Drake meant to say was thank you very much, and we will get the results as soon as they are ready. Thank you. Uh, 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 has anyone ever mentioned to you how glad we are that you're back? It's a blood panel, Tiffany. You shouldn't have been here by now. It's not brain surgery. You know what? Don't take it out on everyone just because you're mad Lisa moved on to someone else. Call five nine. Why would I be mad if Lisa's dating Ethan? If it's true, it would be great for all of us. If it's true. I mean, she's doing an excellent job with her sane act. Even Nicholas is buying it. Back to being the rock-solid professional. So that's why you're in a bad mood, right? And having doubts about shutting Lisa. Okay, out. Robin, if I'm in a bad mood, it's because our marriage is at a standstill. You're, you're not willing to try and work it out, but you're not willing to walk away, so I, I really don't know where I am. Well... I am just thinking about our child's future and the consequences, something maybe you should have thought about before you slept with Lisa. I hope Lisa is dating Ethan, because if she is, maybe she'll be out of our lives for good. I'm, uh, I'm not dating Lisa. Then what are you not doing exactly. with her? I think I have the right to know. I mean, after all, I am your wife. It's complicated. Outrageous! A blatant disregard for human frailty! What must the poor invalid do to get medical attention around here? For God's sake, hurry! Can't you see I'm about to expire? Are we... What seems to be the problem? Apart from my being forced to wait in blizzard-like conditions for someone to retrieve my diseased corpus from the taxi while the meter continued to run? Could someone take care of the taxi driver? He's owed $10.35 minus tip. Uh, what seems to be the medical problem? Where to begin? Blinding head pain, blurred vision, lower body paralysis, and now fright. Okay, sir, how many, uh, how many expect me to distinguish between fingers? I can't even make out how many doctors are in front of me. Are there three or four of you? There's two. Better summon a few more. I suspect my myriad of grievances will provide insights for medical journals for years to come. Yeah. <clears throat> You're in good hands, Mr... Huffman. Theo Huffman. Mr. Huffman, uh, this is Dr. Weber. He is the chief of staff here, and this is Dr. Drake. He's one of the best neurologists in the country. We can only pray. I'm not too far gone for assistance of any sort, given that I'm under assault from an advanced glioblastoma in my frontal lobe. Oh, so we're, uh, when were you diagnosed? I'm here to be diagnosed. Have you any intention of upholding the Hippocratic Oath, or should I just sit here quietly and die? It's a self-diagnosed brain tumor. Why don't you save yourself the trouble and I'll call psych. How them handle it? Mr. Hoffman is complaining of head pain and blurred vision. If we send him up to psych without an evaluation, they're going to send him right back down. Aging Dr. Dr. Karen. Detective, can I help you? Uh, no. I was just going to go talk to Dr. Weber. Oh, well, Dr. Weber is busy right now. But uh, if you take a seat, he'll be with you as soon as he can. Dr. <laughs> Has the unfeeling staff sent you over here to die, too? I don't care. Tiffany, the Green Falls Police Department is sending the remains of a suspected felon for a second autopsy. The name is Alexander Janicek. Make sure the morgue is away. Wait, we don't have enough mob casualties of our own. All right, Mr. Hoffman, just walk over and take a seat, and I'll get back to you as soon as your test results are in. You call that an exam? What's next? I wait another several hours for you to apply leeches to bleed out the ill humor? Not enough leeches in the world. We'll run more tests if necessary, all right? Uh, why bother? I'll simply shuffle off this mortal coil. At the pace you people work around here, my remains will be discovered sometime in January. We're doing everything we can. You're doing nothing. I have a tumor pressing on my brain. A simple exam is not going to cure me. Well, then why don't I call the lab and put a rush on those scans? So I can be on my way, hmm? 
God forbid you people take the time to actually treat me. Mr. Hoffman's test results are conclusive. No glioblastoma, no tumor of any kind. So Steve was right. Mr. Hoffman is a major hypochondriac. And he wants everybody to know about it. I have health insurance. Three different policies. That should guarantee me an MRI at the very least. I'll call Psych. No, wait, you know what? Let me talk to him. Maybe he needs some attention from a female doctor. Oh. You're a saint. <laughs> Dr. Leslie Floyd. Well, hey, it's me. I'm dying over here. Not to worry, I'll go quietly. Mm, no such luck. Are you working? <sighs> yes, yeah, I was ready to come back. Oh. Well, maybe you should, um, take tomorrow off and hang out with me. Actually, I'm almost done. What about tonight? I can't tonight. I have to go to this stupid party. Ah, uh, the crazy life of the celebrity do-gooder. Exactly. Blab on <laughs> smile. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, and try to have fun, okay? Bye. Dr. Bach, call 691. Dr. George Bach, call 691. Hello? Thank you. So, Mr. Hoffman, looks like I have some good news for you. All you've been 